Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of the New Marketing Show. I'm Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. Today I want to talk about value, charging clients, how do you charge clients, <clears throat> do you charge clients, all of that good stuff. <clears throat> so, you know, if you ever want to really understand what your value is to a client or to anybody, put an invoice in front of them. See what the reaction is. You know, <clears throat> if they ghost you and they don't <clears throat> come back and they don't talk to you, or whatever you, you you have a clear understanding of what their value is if they're in, if they engage you with a conversation <clears throat> then you understand where you guys where you sit where the relationship stands you know a lot of people want a lot of things right and need a lot of things right <clears throat> but they're unwilling to pay for it or they can't afford it or there's a multitude of reasons why they're not ready to open their checkbook. So <clears throat> a couple of things. One, do you charge her everything that you do? This is one of the things that I've learned over the years of being in business that <clears throat> if you don't charge her what you do, you will go out of business eventually. You know, you need to go ahead and invoice for your time, invoice for your product, invoice for your service. Otherwise, why are you doing this? You know, <clears throat> so I want you to really, really think about and internally here, you know, Trinity Web Media, we talk about it all the time about, are we billing for this? Why are we not billing for this? What would the compelling reason be to not bill? You know, and we have discussions about it. But we want to bill for almost everything that we do. Now, there are certain times that we want to be in favor with a client or we want or a client needs a favor in a pinch, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, we're not going to be so rigid that everything is yes or no. I mean, there's going to be some exceptions, but more often than not, you need to bill for everything that you do. Because when you bill for what you do, you're demonstrating your value, that your time is valuable. What you're doing, you know, in our business <clears throat> is you're exchanging time for dollars. It's always a tricky thing exchange when you do that. You're exchanging time for dollars. In the other kind of, you know, in, in uh, in a product word, you're exchanging a product for dollars. So you have to make sure that what you're doing fits your business model. What you're doing is a win-win situation for everybody. That you feel good about what you do. And here's the other thing. Whenever we do something for somebody as maybe a favor or uh, as a donation, invoice them. If you invoice someone, let's say you're, you're charging them what you would do would charge, be $250. Invoice them and then give them a 100% discount so that they understand and so that you're demonstrating what value you are bringing and what value you are giving them. If you don't let people know, they're never gonna know. <clears throat> so a couple of things that you know a mentor of mine, Francine Hardaway, had told me is you need to understand your value, you need to be comfortable with your value, you need to charge accordingly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Hey, thanks for checking us out. We'll talk to you soon.